Hey guys, hey, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Devon Sade, if you are new. So today we're going to be talking about Jay-Z playing the role of Dirk. Um, Conscious X already made a video on this. I just wanted to, you know, make my own video on it. I'm not going to spend too much time on the role because you guys already seen this video. If you have not, um, it will be linked in the description box where you guys can go check out that video. But I just want to talk about a few things with Dirk and this character and this role, you know, give my opinions on it. So, um jay-z all right he plays the role of dirk and i know a lot of people try to debunk this one because of the height and honestly the height doesn't matter like i told you guys before on my channel i don't believe in heights i don't believe in any of that with these people i believe in heights with us Let's, let me correct myself i believe yes we have distinct heights however these celebrities do not have distinct heights okay that's what i don't believe in all right so, all right, so I don't feel like um doing any numerology with this video. Just kind of sh like a straight to the point video. All right, so Dirk and Nicki Minaj performed together. And um, Dirk said, we make the impossible possible. If we do a deluxe baby, we got to put Nicki on it. And Nicki, she comment back on it. And that's funny because Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj are really close. They collabed multiple times. Um, he's actually someone she actually um, look up to. He made the blueprint. She made the pink print. All right. And then, as you see in this picture, Jay-Z um, and Nicki Minaj, like a double date thing going on. He, was, uh, he has a lot of names. Lil Dirk, Dirkio, um, all types of names. He just have a lot of different also he goes already within himself so it's just like you know something to point out so right here here goes dark and little baby um dark i put this picture in here because when he wears a suit and he has these glasses on he looks exactly like jay-z to me i don't know why here go dark again jay-z they look alike and honestly you'll see with the younger pictures of jay-z like i said they do not age and when they do try to pretend like these people are aging they do the weirdest antics to them like they make them look so weird it's actually like like pathetic that they do that like they don't look how me and you would look if we aged if that makes sense all right so right here here's dark and jay-z now it's not spot on similarities but they're there like after looking at a bunch of pictures of jay-z young all you're gonna get is dark vibes it's really freaking weird and i want you guys to watch the um who wants smoke behind the scenes with a uh, lyrical lemonade i think it's called cole bennett and um behind the scenes with cole bennett and dirk like he looks exactly like jay-z in that because pictures sometimes pictures are not direct of how someone looks you know we all look different in our pictures sometimes or some people look you know the same but most people look different in their pictures and in that video dirk looks exactly like jay-z is crazy especially with these glasses on this is younger dirk he looks exactly like him they share similar um eyes they just lighten dirk's eyes up but they both have those big eyes no matter what even though jay-z's eyes are kind of like covered now of course they would use this comparison jay-z looks nothing like how he used to look do i think he was replaced no i do not believe that um i believe they're trying to make him look so old like and they they just do the most terrible job with making these people so it says Lil dark says he feels like jay-z during his chicago concert wow Right here it says, um, Lil Dark labels himself Chicago's Jay-Z. Um, all right, we get it. I don't know why this was such news, you know. A lot of people call themselves these different, um, will categorize themselves with a celebrity. Uh, you know, that's whatever. But why are they publicizing this so much? Like, this is on Double XL, they posted this. Now, I want to talk about Dirk and Vaughn. <laughs> Uh, Dirk and Vaughn are the weirdest two people ever. Um, personally, uh, Dirk and Vaughn look like a girl the more you stare at them together. So, they're both matching. I don't know no grown men that actually match. Okay. Here they go. They're super close. And then this, Dirk's look like a female. Uh, Jay-Z also looks like a female too. Younger Jay-Z, if you keep looking at him, he looks like a female. They look very feminine. It's like really weird. And of course, he has a pink, white, and blue going on in his shirt. And right here, the way he's looking at him, like, it's just, I don't know. I really, I just don't know. 
and then right here he definitely looks like a girl Vaughn looks exactly like perfect laughs it's actually the most obvious disgusting thing ever now right here this says um Lil Durk spends Christmas with Kings Vaughn kids now the top comment on this is please don't take Dirk from us man like why is that like why would that hurt you there's real people in your life that will actually go people don't care about their siblings going but let it be a celebrity people go like crazy people get massively upset behind these people they do not know all right so right here it says this is six nine he said time to smoke a new pack it's like every week i didn't even finish enjoying smoking bond yet y'all blank too fast all right now, 6 9 his character is such a, like, a fool, but, like, in a joke and a troll. But, um, I don't believe in that trolling shit. If you're a troll, you are not, you don't, saying you're, you're a troll doesn't give you the safety or the fallback to just do the things that you do. Um, you should be held accountable for everything you say. And, um, most times when these celebrities are trolls, they're actually being dead ass serious. They hide the truth within comedy, all right? So 6 9 joked about King Vaughn's death a lot because it's a joke. It's fake. He didn't really die. All right. So I want to talk about this song, Who Wants Smoke? So I'm going to read Nordo's wig verse, like the ones I highlighted. He said, who? He says, who wants smoke with me? I'm trying to fuck a nigga lungs up. Like, that's Fugazi. All right. I'm going to point out everything Fugazi with this shit. All right. And then he said, fuck that. Big brother, bring them guns out. Um, as you guys know who Big Brother is, I don't have to explain that. Next, he said five, six, seven, eight. Don't make no noise. I'll eat your face. This, these lyrics for this song is actually very gruesome, especially Herb's um verse. Then he said, "I'ma kill fourteen niggas if thirteen bitch niggas play." I think my Draco might be Fugazi. Why? Cause he blow. Yeah. I'm not gonna keep saying the n-word. Uh, See, so all this is just some fugazi lyrics, like, and they got people singing this. They got this fire beat, but they're saying the most nastiest stuff. Like, um, all their all their verses are just, you know, this verse is such mockery. It makes no sense. He says, "They be on my page like slap of one. I know they trolling me." <laughs> like. And every time we listen to this song, I be like, no one's trolling you. Like, slide for your homie. And then they do so much mockery. Like, back in Blood, he was like, uh, Pooch, I said, if your killer ain't there, you shouldn't wear no R.I.P. shirt. And, you know, like, they're just doing mockery and being hypocritical. Like, oh, my God. They're admitting that this is fake. They're not real gangsters. They're not really out there. They'll infiltrate themselves out there to get street cred, but they're not really out there. Uh, these are women at that. Like, they look like women. They're not even humans, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't even know what they are at this point, but come on now. So, uh, Jehovah, he's Jehovah, all right? Um, and Dirk, all right, he's a uh, Muslim, right? So they both share these two different um, religious bases, and they're really involved with their religion. Here goes Jay-Z. He looks just like Dirk in this. Here goes Dirk. The only thing is, Dirk has a different nose. That's what it is. And then you have, here you go Dirk here. You can really just see it. Like, it's just one of those things that you see. Like, I don't know. And then here you go Jay-Z. Jay-Z really looks like Dirk to me. It's crazy. And then Jay-Z and Beyonce, he made a song called My Beyonce. I don't care who you are. Why would you call your female Beyonce? Why why your female just can't be whoever she is? Why you can't love her like, you know, make a song based off her without including Beyonce? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. So, in this, he has on the jersey, the Bulls jersey. Um, I'm finna make a connection there. But here goes Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z looks just like Dirk. It's so crazy to me. And Beyonce looks so weird. Like, I don't even know. Ugh, gosh, she looks so freaking weird in this. Like... I mean, like, manic and creepy weird. All right. So, he has on a Bulls jersey in that. That's funny because Jay-Z um, owns half of the Nets or bought the Nets, something like that. I didn't really um, read into that. But he's involved with basketball, too, which is crazy. Now, I want to bring up the immortality thing. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this at all. Uh, I just want to say they all these celebrities are immortal as fuck. They're not human beings. And so now I know all of you probably have seen this picture already. This guy from like 1939. Um, yeah, they're just immortal. That's just something I wanted to say in this video. They're immortal as fuck. And 
Um, you know, they're always here. They reoccur, they play new roles. Um, as simple as that. That's the simplest way to put it. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, Jay-Z plays the role of Dirk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.